Hello beautiful souls. Today I will be taking you on a hiking trip with me and my cat, Brooke. Almost every week we go hiking together. Often my mom comes along because Brooke really enjoys it when there are multiple uh, of her favorite people around and um, she is also inclined to walk faster when someone is walking in front of her. I started hiking with Brooke when she was quite young. Initially I took her with me to various places because I didn't want to leave her alone at home when I was um, away for a few days. I couldn't miss her and I thought it would I just wanted to see if she would be comfortable with it and, and she really was. She enjoyed being on the train and on the bus and everything was fine as long as she was with me and um, yeah that's how I came uh, with the idea to take her with me on my hiking trips as well. So initially I uh, brought her along in a backpack and uh, yeah I took her, uh, after a while I took her out of the backpack at the end of our hiking trips and each time I took her out a little bit sooner so she would be able to adjust to the idea of hiking alongside me and after a while I just didn't put her in the backpack at all because she she was really doing well and she was able to walk quite a, quite a distance she is able to walk at least five kilometers I don't know how much that is in miles but it's it's quite decent for a cat actually. You have to keep in mind that the cats um, are way smaller than us and their physiology is more built for being able to walk really fast in short distances. So um, if you want to train your cat, you have to keep that in mind. Now she's really used to the idea of hiking alongside me and she really enjoys being outside, being in the forest. She enjoys climbing trees. Uh, she's still a bit scared of large open spaces and as you can imagine that is quite frightening for such a such a small animal so so she enjoys being enjoys being in the in the forest mostly um, I will uh, show you how the process goes so um, when I put her on the leash sometimes she's a bit grumpy when that happens uh, I will show you uh, when we are cycling to the location and I will take you alongside our hike and afterwards I will show you some of the gear that we use and things that I take along with me and I hope that you enjoy this process I hope that you enjoy our hike and um, I hope you've learned some things if you have a cat and if you want to uh, take your cat hiking with you, then I suggest checking out my blog post um, that I link down below. I wrote a blog post on how to train your cat to go hiking with you. I want to stress that, uh, especially for older cats, it can be uh, quite stressful to, to start something like this, so you really have to keep the mindset, okay, um, is this really something that my cat would enjoy? And uh, yeah, it's about giving your cats more, giving your cat a more of an experience, spending time together, and not so much as training your cat to be cat, best cat in the world or be the yeah, be Instagram worthy or I don't know. Um, if your cat is not really comfortable um, going outside of the neighborhood, or if your cat likes to come with you but only in a backpack or something or like that then please don't push your cat too much take enough time to practice um, yeah just try to keep the well-being of your cat in mind uh, it's not about you having fun taking your pet with you but it's about giving your pet a nice life experience and that's how it started with me it didn't really start like I really wanted to have her hiking on the leash. I just wanted to take her with me and I enjoyed being with her, obviously. So that's what, um, yeah, made me decide to take her with me and see if she enjoyed it. And from one thing, another thing came, and now it's just a perfect way to spend time together. So, all that being.
being said, I hope you enjoy our trip. And I hope to see you after the hiking trip when I show some of the gear. <laughs> And now she's waiting for the journey to begin. She really, she really enjoys it because her tail is up, which means they are, they are feeling comfortable. And she's curious about what is around her. A little curl in the tail is also a good sign. up that's good that's how I know that she enjoys our hiking trip she wants to go off trail but that's not gonna happen right now come on Baby. Come. Come, come. I know, honey. Oh. Yeah. Good job. Oh, honey. You're stuck. She's giving me a hard time. A hard time. Baby, please. She doesn't really care if things are uncomfortable for me. But that's okay, I love her anyway. 
Come on, honey. Come on. You gotta make sure you're clean after a long hike. Did you enjoy it, baby? Did you enjoy it? Oh, yes, you did, right? Oh, you're so cute. enjoyed our uh, little hike today. I promised you that I would show some of Puk her um, gear. So first of all I want to start off with her backpack. When I first um, took her with me in the forest to, to start hiking and stuff, I took her in this uh, little backpack so she would feel comfortable. I would just take her on my belly and I can attach this on my back here like this anyway um, the backpack has a hole in it for her head to come out and an attachment thingy I don't know how to call this uh, for her leash and stuff so she can't get out. 
And yeah, just keep her safe like this. But now I don't really use it as much. Sometimes I take it with me to be sure, but uh, she's used to, to the whole hiking situation, so I don't really need it. I could um, attach it a bit firmer if I want to. Anyway, I have this um, leash and um, harness, I guess. Yeah, harness is what you call it. Uh, I bought them separate. I bought this harness, but it's actually for little dogs, but it works just as as well for felines. You uh, there's there are also um, harnesses that um, are closed on on the belly, on the, the downside of the body. But yeah, this one is this one is just as fine, uh, as good because this is. Uh, behind her front legs, and this is uh, here. Her 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 head goes here. So if she gets stuck somewhere, then the the major pull on her body is here behind her legs and not uh, in her neck. So that's the main point. There are also some um, leashes for cats that are just like two little strings around the, uh, the uh, under the belly and under the neck but the strings they, they can be really uncomfortable I had one of those initially to start to start off and see if she would hike alongside of me but uh, quite quite soon thereafter I decided to buy a better better harness and leash as well it's, this, it just walks much nicer and it's more comfortable for her so especially when we walk longer distances than this is really good when it's really hot, I also take some water with me for her. Usually she, she doesn't really want to drink any water along the way, but perhaps your cat ne needs to drink some water, so always take some something with you. But especially when, when it's hot, uh, I take water with me for her in a little uh, cup where she can drink from. And uh, yeah, just to be sure. So anyway, I hope you like this video and if you liked it then please uh, like and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions or you want to add a comment then please do uh, i'm always happy to answer you if you want to know more about hiking with cats then please read my blog post blog post that i refer to and i will put it down below and i hope you have a lovely day and have some time to spend outside perhaps take a hike in the forest uh, whenever you have time because it's so worth it and yeah it's overall great for stress relief and uh, to to get inspired and be creative that's what it does for me so yeah have a wonderful day bye bye